Good morning, welcome to Planet Mojo. Today, we're gonna plant buffalo grass. As you can see, this is soaking in water. I started soaking this yesterday. Oh, it's probably been 18 hours or so. One of the places that I've bought buffalo grass from in the past recommended that you soak the seed for 24 hours. I don't have 24 hours to soak it, so whatever it's soaked so far is going to have to do. Other places recommend that you soak it in potassium nitrate. This seed came with a green coating on it and that very well may be potassium nitrate. I could not find any information on the website where I got the seed from about the coating that's on it, so I'll have to contact them and find out what it is. But at any rate, this stuff has a very hard seed and soaking it for 24 hours or whatever you can is gonna loosen that up a bit. I planted a test batch and these were not soaked at all, but I kept this nice and wet, so that's basically the same thing. Now that this has been soaking for whatever it's been, 18 hours or so, I'm going to mix this with sand. That'll make it easier for me to broadcast it, and I'm not going to be broadcasting it today. I'm going to do that either tomorrow or the day after. So once I mix this with the sand in here, I'm going to get it a little bit damp, I'll add a little bit of mist to it, and I'll probably cover it to keep it damp, and either tomorrow or the day after, we'll get this in the ground. Okay, let me grab my knife. Oh, this is already open. Good. Just dampen that up a little bit. I want the germination process to continue while this sits. I don't want this too wet, but I don't want it bone dry like it is. should do it. I want to get this seed as dispersed as possible in the sand because, like I said, I'm going to be hand seeding this and I don't want all of the seed in one area and that happens real easy if you're tossing just seed. Basically this sand is just seed extender. I want to get this green juice in there too. For those of you who don't know what buffalo grass is, buffalo grass is a native grass and 
it only grows to about six inches tall. It's incredibly drought tolerant and it will actually do kind of poorly if you overwater it. So it's kind of difficult to get this stuff started because it grows so slow. This right here, my sample, this is, I planted this six weeks ago and it's about an inch tall. I believe it took nearly a month before it came up to start with. Like I said, I can't get this into the ground today. So this whole mess, well actually I don't think I need to cover it up. It's fairly damp. So I'll just put this into the shed and let it continue to germinate, which it's, it's doing right now. It's starting to germinate. It's a long process with buffalo grass though, so I want as much of a head start as possible. So this is gonna sit for one or two more days. And then we'll get it into the ground. That'll be in this video though. I've tried growing this before and I did it wrong. And as I plant this, I'll tell you how I did it wrong and how I'm not gonna do that again. Basically, I let foxtail take over and it choked out the buffalo grass. And there's a few ways to avoid that and that's what I'm gonna be doing, avoiding that. Buffalo grass seed is quite expensive because of the way it grows. It has both the male and female flowers on the same blade of grass. The male is up top and the female one, which has this big honking seed, that one is closer to the ground and it's really hard to harvest the seeds. I've never tried it, but that's what I hear. So, buffalo grass seed is expensive, and lately it's really hard to find. Okay, that's going to do it. This is going to sit one or two days, and then we'll broadcast this on the ground and rake it in. Okay, I finally got my prep work done over where this seed's going to be planted. Two days ago, I put these seeds, which sat for one day in water. Two days ago, I put them in the sand, and now I'm ready to spread them on the ground. I got two buckets here. I think what I'm gonna do is fill each one of these buckets evenly, and then go one way with one bucket and try to use up the entire bucket exactly and then go the other way with the other bucket and hopefully that'll give me some even coverage so what i gotta do now is scoop this stuff into the buckets try to even them out and then get over there and spread the seed
Yesterday I got out here and shortened the vent and that access pipe and got my fireproof clay liner around it. Now everything's ready for the seed. Hopefully the ground isn't too dried out. No, that should be perfect. Okay, I'm going to toss the seed and get it raked in. It's going to rain all day tomorrow, so I really got to get this done today. I'm going to pull that hose out of here and get going. Okay, I got this all seeded and where is that? I raked it up to right about here. It was starting to get kind of crusty so I watered it again. Now I got to get in here and rake the whole rest of this. Yeah, this is going to be quite the job. But I got to get it done today because like I said, it's going to rain really heavy tomorrow. And if I don't get it raked in today, I'm going to lose a bunch of seeds. So. All right, let's see. There's a seed right there. This is where it was raked, right here. There's still a few seeds on the surface. And I'm going to go around and kind of push those in after I'm done. But this is the area that wasn't raked. And you can see all of the seeds are on the surface. So this is the line right here. Okay, let's get back at this. Okay, that's going to have to wrap this video up. The sun is just about down and I have a ton of stuff to put away. It looks really nice though. It's going to rain tomorrow like I said. Hopefully it'll hold off for a little bit. I left off right here and it gets skinnier as you go that way. So not a whole lot left to do. But it's just been so darn hot today. It was hard to stay out here for more than an hour or so. It's kind of nice now, but I can't even see what I'm doing. And like I said, I got to put stuff away. So I think that's going to wrap up this video. I am going to give several updates on this. Buffalo grass is really hard to grow. And I'll show you the progress of this and what I do to get it growing. All in all, it's going to take like three years before this is really nice and thick. But by the end of this year, it should look pretty nice. Once it starts coming up, I'm going to seed any light areas and probably a little bit down there further. So, like I said, by the end of the year, this should look really, really cool. Okay, that's about it. So if you want to see the updates on this, make sure you subscribe and click on the update icon. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you put them in the comment section below. And if you share the video and or give it a like, it helps the channel out greatly. Thanks for watching and have a great day.